Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us for this briefing. My name is Bob Kincaid. I'm from Fayette County, West Virginia, and I'm a co-founder of the Appalachian Communities Health Emergency Campaign, as well as president of the board of Coal River Mountain Watch of Naoma, West Virginia. The Appalachian Communities Health Emergency Act, H.R. 526, was introduced in the 113th Congress this past February. It presents an elegant and effective solution to the ongoing health and human rights crisis that is mountaintop removal coal extraction in Appalachia. It is also the only bill in Congress with the power to do so. John Yarmouth of Kentucky's 3rd District introduced the ACAC. He did so not only on behalf of his constituents in Louisville, but on behalf of all the thousands of people in Appalachia who have been rendered otherwise voiceless in the midst of this health and human rights crisis. To us, He's a hero. Representative Yarmouth was born and raised in Louisville with a background in publishing and journalism. He brought that experience to Washington in 2007 and has quickly made a name for himself as a leading light among the more recent arrivals in the House. It is abundantly clear that Representative Yarmouth is a man of tremendous dedication and even more profound determination to do the right thing. That determination is on bold display in the ACAC. It is my pleasure and my honor to present to you Representative John Young. Thank you very much, Bob. It's uh, an honor to be here with my friend and colleague, Louise Slaughter, and native, fellow native Kentuckian, to uh, host this briefing on mountaintop removal. People ask often, why do I care about mountaintop removal mining when I'm in Louisville, hundreds of miles away? And say, well, for a variety of reasons. I'm a Kentuckian. I travel throughout our state and have for a long time. I love the mountain area. It was, and parts of it still are, beautiful. But what is going on there is immoral and a tragedy on many, many levels. I was, until I came to Congress, a journalist. I've edited and owned the Alternative Weekly in Louisville called Leo Weekly. And we have been reporting on mountaintop removal and mining for a number of years. The point at which, during my first year in Congress, I was visited by the Kentucky Coal Association. It said to me, several of them, don't believe anything you read or hear about mountaintop removal mining. It's not true. And I was able to say, no, my papers reported on mountaintop removal. I've been to Appalachia. I've done flyovers. I've seen the orange water. I've talked to the people who live in proximity to mountaintop removal. And I know what my own eyes have seen. What we're trying to do with the AIC Act is to think the most effective way to put a stop to mountaintop removal. And that's to require a study of the health effects of mountaintop removal before any further mountaintop removal mining is permitted. I've talked to citizens in the area, come from towns where 25 to 30 percent of the people suffer from some kind of chronic disease, intestinal disease, intestinal cancer, and so forth, uh, numbers way beyond what would be expected in any other population. Uh, I've talked to teachers who've said that when they're students draw their environment, they color the streams and creeks orange because that's the color they see. This is a crisis of monumental proportions and um, I am doing everything I can to stop it. Um, one little recent anecdote and then I'll introduce the true champion. Some of you may be aware of the recent controversy over meeting that Mitch McConnell had with his campaign team that was probably illegally recorded, what was recorded in Mother Jones and so forth, about how he was going to attack Ashley Judd if she ran uh, for Senate against him next year. 
And one of the things that was not widely reported was that in the transcript of this meeting, the presenter, who had done all the opposition research, said they couldn't use Ashley's position on mountaintop removal against her because her position was too popular. <laughs> so all these people who said, oh, Ashley Judd can't, can't win because their whole, whole position will kill her, thought that was a re really interesting and revealing uh, uh, bit, of, bit of information. So uh, we're on the side of the angels. We're on the popular side, politically, and uh, we're on the side of, of 